What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We have a few more things in extra. Accessing the we extra need to check section. out. There's some artworks that got unlocked. Seems like, well, pack two's unlocked. We also have pack three. We don't have any any points really to do anything at this point. But I remember the end of last episode, we did unlock the next video, which is discovering Detroit. So let's go ahead and look at that and then get off on our merry way. When David and Guillaume got back in touch about making Detroit, I wasn't terribly surprised they decided to make it because the fan response was so intense. So it makes sense that they would choose to do that after, after the enthusiasm. It was a challenge and it was just a, an interesting thing to get my head around um, how to approach this character now as a different, much older person and whether or not she had changed. And I'm very happy to say that with Detroit, I've had the opportunity to, to see Kara grow so much more than I ever expected. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the rat gone now? Alice! Alice! I mean, she starts out essentially how she does in Kara in, in a very, uh, not robotic, but you know, android other way. And getting to take this journey where she becomes more and more human as it goes on. You know, and as an actor, that's a, that's a wonderful exploration in every way, whether it's how she sits, her posture, how her voice changes, how emotions change, and how much emotion is based on things like empathy and social experience. And so having, you know, as much material as I got with David to have this huge nuanced arc was really incredible. Why couldn't we just be happy? <laughs> this experience has been quite different than the experiences I've had shooting film or TV or, or doing theater work. I have 83 dots on my face and, <laughs> and a really, really flattering black wetsuit type thing. And you're jumping around with props and it, it's, it's kind of like being a 10 year old imaginative kid, uh, which is fun. There's 80 cameras around us, it's already lit. So we just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. There's no change of sets. There's no hair and makeup. There's no wardrobe. So we move really fast. And we'll go through about 35 pages in a day. Working in TV or film, we'll probably do six pages a day. It's kind of acting boot camp. It's like working out constantly. I mean, you're, you're doing this thing, and then you got to do something that's completely other back to back to back. And so that kind of process of working is very challenging, but it's also very exciting because you just have to keep coming up with new ideas and your head goes all over the place because you're trying to keep track of basically four different storylines for each different response. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It was a machine that looked like a girl. Yeah, I, I know what I should have done. I just told you I couldn't. All right, I'm sorry. The fact that David Cade, he's telling like many stories interwoven from beginning to end is super complicated and super impressive. And I have no idea how he keeps it all in his head. He's not just the writer or the director who's seeing this from the outside eye, he's also thinking about the player walking through this space. You know, only somebody who really, really loves not the work, but like these characters and these stories and cares about doing something meaningful would invest that much in it. And it's always inspiring to work with somebody who cares that much. My experience with motion capture is this one. And, and I found it sort of terrifying in a way because they said the computer's gonna build you, but then as we got into it, I realized all the elements of it were still artistic. I just dipped into a, a really brilliant setup here. I've never seen anything like it. And this won't turn me into a product because I was playing a character. So it's wonderful. In the game, Detroit comes back because of a revolutionary industrial rebirth. And there's no reason why that can't happen in Detroit because they have such tremendous infrastructure for millions and millions of people who can very easily support, you know, a new industry. The city is really strong and resilient, but the city has also been through so much. You see the damage. 
but it takes that time of kind of, of rebuilding and reinvesting into the city that I think is happening slowly but surely. The potential of Detroit as a city is something that this game does a lot of justice to because it would be easy to look at Detroit as some place that used to be and that's not the case. This game provokes a lot of conversation and reflection on our potential near future engagement with machines. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. I think that a group that feels marginalized feels like they deserve and have earned access to themselves and the environment around them and are trying to figure out a way to articulate how to get freedom. What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? It plays with your comfort levels. You think that this is fine, you're comfortable with it until something blurs the line and throws you off and now do I feel differently about whether this should be allowed? Should it be banned? Should it be encouraged? You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! There are lots of comparable comparisons to any type of persecution of religion, uh, race, etc., dating way back. It can't just be a video game where you shoot them up or where people make these choices to do whatever. I think that's the whole point. You have the choice, and you can either choose to go in one direction with your character or another. And I think that's gonna be very telling about the gamer, very telling. I think there's gonna be a really strong reaction to, to this game, which has such a strong perspective. I'm that much more proud of it now to get to be a part of it because it's, it's important. In this game, you're actively building and designing the character through thing, not just what kind of shield does he have or what color hair does she have, but like their temperament and the way they deal with problems. The different endings to this game are so radically different based off maybe seemingly insignificant choices in the moment, but like life, they, they all add up. And can't play life again, though. Whoa. <laughs> Seeing that last part, things that could have happened, it makes me wonder if, okay, there wasn't spoiler stuff in there because we don't know any of these things, but we were seeing characters that we haven't met yet. I wonder if we should just... An interactive story? Oh. I wonder if... Now let me know if it's better to just read or read. If it's... Is it better to watch this stuff at the end? Once we finish the whole game, we can just go in and look at this stuff, but... See, because, like, I didn't take that as spoilers, but there's characters being shown and scenes that are being shown. We don't know what the hell they are, but they're there. We kind of seen them. So, it could be trailer magic, as always, when, when it comes to trailers and stuff, but... Because we have a good deal left. Like, just going through, I mean, there's just a bunch. There's just a bunch of videos here. It might be more beneficial to kind of just um, watch at the end. See, because I want to see this one. Meet Kara, Marcus, and Connor. And I'm wondering if the rest, maybe this this one, and then the rest will wait until we're done. But even so, it just the stuff that went into making this game. And they said it, like, your choices are really unique to how you perceive these three characters. And <laughs> that's so crazy. Could you imagine just being... And it looks like these people are, it's all their face. It's all their, how they really look. And I didn't know that. I had no idea. I thought they just made these characters. I had no idea that these characters that they made are actually people. And they have like 50 million, just like the Marcus actor said, we have all these dots on our face that we have to use. So that's really cool, man. All right, let's get into the game. We left off with Kara and Alice, and we are kind of on the streets trying to find a place. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. Okay. Well, the bus scene... Okay, it's, it saved us to where... That's fine. We need to find a place to shelter for the night. And there's all types of things around. We have some droids over there. Maybe we can... Talk to them, find shelter. I don't want a car to come by and just wreck us. Let's just go. Burger zone. Breakfast, coffee, donut, pizza, and chicken. 
Gyro chicken sandwich. Oh, that sounds really good, actually. Hello. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Creepy. What the fuck? Hey. Let's go back over. We have a store here. Eastern. Oh, there's a motel. So there it is. That's where we're probably going to stay. Coffee shop. Look around. Examine. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Sleeping in. Is this an abandoned place, maybe? Shop is closed. There's no way we're sleeping in a drugstore. Open 24-7. Can't sleep here. Ask for help, perhaps? Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Uncomfortable, but safe? How to get in? Oh, that's an abandoned house. What would lead that over there? Like an alley? Maybe? Eastern Motel. Comfortable, but not discreet. We'll need money. Oh. But it will be comfortable. Not gonna be discreet. Open 24-7, can't stay. Mega washer, oh, a laundromat? Seven days a week, 24-7? Laundromats are open 24-7? Okay, Jalen. Won't open before morning. Shop is closed. There's nothing else to do. Is it a map, possibly? Right here? Gonna hit me? Don't hit me. Can we go under here? Maybe this is a map. Oh, hey. Wait. Hey, can we talk to you? Doesn't look like we can. Can we talk to Alice? Oh, we can. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. WR six hundred. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Oh, we could have maybe talked to the other guy, the trash droid. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? WR600? Where'd he go? I wasn't thinking come over here. Look, see, public information. Find anything? Android units must... Something, something. Surveillance drone opening on the premises. Android units must not enter human-only areas. Interesting. Well, I guess we can try the dumpster. Let's try the motel first, since it's, I don't know, left seems to be always pretty good places to go in games. Actually, since we're... Okay, okay. What are you beeping for? Walk. Let's look at this down here. Q. Rebuild South Detroit, a better place to live. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. She's got a point, but... Alice has a point too. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter. Squat in house, perhaps, maybe? I really want to squat in that house. I kind of want to go to the hotel. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter, but then we got to get a wire cutter. We have nothing. Oh. There's nothing more this way. All right, all right. We'll go over here. 
Let's look at the Eastern Motel. We'll see. Because, well, friends, let's be honest. We're gonna be able to sleep in a hotel. See, forty. It looks like forty dollars right there. <laughs> we ain't gonna be able to go to a hotel. We ain't got no money. No androids allowed. Owner will be able forty dollars in advance. We're not going in. We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform, or go somewhere else. Forty dollars. Get rid of this uniform. Find clothes. And forty dollars. What the hell's back here? Can we just walk up in? Let me in one of them rooms. Oh, I guess we can't. Oh, look at him. He got pissed. He was about to come out and whoop us. Come on, Alice. Get out of here. The motel won't be discreet. So, it's probably best if we don't go to a motel. I have a feeling that that one's kind of ruled off. Maybe. Food and grill. Oh, what's got us going? This never mind. Station too far. Come on, let's go back. Let's go back then. Should we go to the laundromat? Oh, we can go to the barber shop. Let's go to the laundromat. It's actually gonna let us in. Plus, we've been just getting poured on. Make a washer. Oh, there's actually somebody in there. He's sleeping. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. I mean, it's something, hey. Better than sitting out in the rain. WR600. What the hell was that? And what did he transmit to us? And she said it's, uh, blocks away? Oh, we got a notepad to read. All right, well, hey, take a load off, Alice. I'm going to read, all right? I'll read you some of this stuff. Look at that big bee. Pollinating bees officially extinct. Oh, no. I mean, they're pretty much going now, aren't they? The beeline to disaster, damn. Cybersecurity expert warns your Android could be hacked. Dating website discovered to have less than 5% female members. <laughs> Females don't want none of that shit. <laughs> I ain't doing no dating website, that's what they're thinking. <laughs> beeline to disaster, pollinating bees officially extinct. For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. I just, they're so important. They are, they're like the most important insects in the world, aren't they? Despite these warnings, the Global Institution of Endangered Species, GIES, announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappeared leaving hives which cannot feed themselves. Biologists confirmed that CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops, parasites, and pollution. That dude is snoring it up. Loving life over there. Pollinating bees officially extinct. The consensus of this catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, freshwater supplies, and most deliberately agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda Kathy Linda, she's got two first names, has stressed the breadth of this news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat rely on pollination of some kind. The resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. CyberLife in cooperation with GIES have come forward with plans of creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches, much as Detroit Urban Farms, Currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in that captivity. What the hell was that? Is that a train? I think it was a train. But there is no guarantee that they will thrive. Damn. Friends. The bees, though. My husband got an android pregnant. Inside story. Can? Th wait. Yeah? It. Sure. How? Can you? It's time to face the music. Live concerts to make a comeback. 10 ways to please your man and keep him. What the fuck? It seems to be a lot about guys in this, right? Like the ladies. I'm gonna be honest with you. Just like we've read in the other 
magazines that basically guys probably prefer androids because... Well, that stated because they don't talk about feelings afterwards, but I don't think that's fully it. I mean, come on, friends. When's the last time you really did that and then talked about feelings afterwards? Come on. I feel like that was way back when. But still, in general, I think guys prefer androids because they can just snap their fingers and get it whenever the hell they want. Kinda. And if it feels exactly the same, then... There it is. And you can kind of mold... Whoa! You can kind of mold the droid, I guess, to how you want. But that's just... The ladies have it rough, I would say. And it seems like this is... The, they're foreshadowing it, you know? Ten ways to please your man. And keep him. So... Interesting. Let's go on, shall we? It's time to face the music. Live concerts to make a comeback. Okay. Well, the younger generation watching concerts in VR has become the norm. And who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It is cheap, safe, and no hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. But live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Nina and Kosake Music have launched a campaign to bring back old school concerts with live audiences in front of performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, NKM spokesperson, explains the culture of going to live concerts is a thing of the past. But when we bring that back, real music is when it's vibrating through your soul, surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Damn, so live music is just defunct now. No longer a thing. Break the Wall will be performing their first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of a live audience and getting an intimate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be about, says lead singer Baz Rudd. The hype of applause, the screams, you just don't get that sitting on your sofa. If this provides a success, NKM's next step is to bring back music festivals, which should be music to fans' ears. Well, there we go. Good write-ups, like always. Was there another one, though? Let me just make sure. Because I didn't see if there was one more to go over. Now, okay. Really good write-ups. What do you think, Alice? Can I talk to you? Possibly? Can I talk to you on the bus station? How are you? I don't want to talk to this guy. I don't think we should wake him up, huh? We need to get clothes. That's probably the reason why we're in here. We're going to steal his clothes? Program complete. Dry clothes for Alice. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I steal clothes. She don't want to steal. Oh. Let's not steal then. I don't want to show her the, them ways. You're right. We won't do it, okay? We'll find our clothes somehow. <laughs> what if they're in the trash? Can we go look in the dumpster? I don't want to give her clothes like that! No! Friends! You? So we have this over here, but that's uh, it's still the steel clothes thing. I don't. Okay, well then. Alice, I don't, I don't think there's anything else we can do in here then. You ready to roll? You gotta keep looking. Damn. I got a feeling we're gonna have to sleep in one of them houses. I'm not liking that idea for them. I really ain't. Come on, Alice, let's get the hell out of here. Come on, let's go. At least she got warm a little bit. Can we just take her? Oh, we don't have coins though. Damn. So it makes me wonder, you know how Marcus was able to pay for stuff like, you know, with his Android senses thing? Couldn't Alice just go up to the machine maybe? Or not Alice, couldn't Kira just go up to the machine, put our clothes in the machine and then just... Sorry, let's go. Oh, this is not good. We'll get it. Well, the only thing we can do is try... The one. 
Nothing's over there. We have this over here. We have the convenience store. I guess we can go to the convenience store since we're on this side of the street and then we'll try that stuff. There was like an area right there. There was a fence over there that we could have cut into, but we don't have... We don't have anything to cut into it. Convenience store? Let me in, huh? Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. Let's At go least you'll be out of the cold. Let's talk to this guy. How you doing? What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. It's a little girl, though. Steal from the cash register. Oh, shit. <laughs> but Alice didn't want to steal that stuff over there. What makes you think she'll want to steal from the fucking cash register? <laughs> hey, man, just let me browse. Let Alice get warm. Do you mind? Let me browse your things and stuff. Look at the meats. Produce section in the convenience store, though. I don't really see that, do you? Oh, there's the wire cutters. Tools for squat fence, friends. We could steal them. Fuck. Hell, man. I know Alice doesn't... Oh, there's something up here. She don't want to steal, though. I don't want to show her them ways. Can we look at these cameras again? You looking at? Oh, we can. There's more cameras over here. Okay. Damn, friends. I feel like we're just window shopping right now. Holy, freshly lemon soda or lemon. Damn, we unlocked something for Alice. It would be stealing though. Take toy for Alice. Oh, we can take it. Put it back, steal. This is her same toy, friends. Damn it. Let's put it back. Staff only. No, no. Let's not. We're gonna... I guess we're gonna roll out. Damn, I kinda wanna go behind the cash register. But if we do that... We'll probably start a row. Nothing to see here. Alice. Use Alice? Oh, we could probably use her possibly to steal something maybe? Is that what it's saying? I don't want to steal. Damn it. Let's go. Let's go somewhere else, Alice. Come on. Damn it. Coming. See you later. Have a good day, my friend. Unfortunately, we can't get nothing in there. No shelter there. There's no point going any farther. Friends, I don't think we have a choice. This is the last place to go to. You are now free to cross the road. Well, I'll sleep in an abandoned car. You going to do that? Shit. Sleeping in an abandoned car, though? Damn. This really hurts my heart. Abandoned. Break. Uh, let's break the window, shall we? <laughs> Stand Alice. back, Alice. 
Yeah, I was about to say, you might want to stand back. <laughs> Carrot has fucked it up. Really, though, an abandoned car. Sleeping. Arm. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Stay here, keep searching. I don't think we have anywhere else to go. But let's keep searching, though, because there was more things in this area. There was something to the left over there. Okay. We'll find somewhere better. I don't want to do what she doesn't want to do. You know what I mean? Like, you can't force the girl to sleep in an abandoned car. She wants to go to the motel. That's really what she wants to do. But to do that, I have to do unjust things like steal. The thing is, I don't want Kara... Like, we're making our character here. I don't want Kara to do these actions, stealing. Oh, Alice, she went under the thing over there. Smart. I don't want her to build her identity now that she's basically broke the change. That's like stealing. Oh, there's wire cutters right there. They're stealing though. We're stealing. We're just using. Let's borrow. We'll borrow them and put them back. Hey, Alice. You okay? I'm sorry. I'm really trying, all right? Can we cut this fence? Let's cut this fence. I guess we're gonna go to this abandoned house over here. Fuck. I can't say thrilled about that for Alice. But hey, we gotta get out the rain shift. And it's better than nothing. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Did you get cut? Hey, hold on. There we go. Oh, we gotta hold it. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Sorry, Karen? Find a way in. Squat in this house, friends. We're going to squat in this fucking house. And I can't see shit. It's really dark. You gotta stay close. We don't have no kind of a weapon or nothing. In case something happens here. And I'm worried. Cool. Let me in. If an android can't wait, there's something in there. You see it? A chair is lighting up. All right, well, should we just knock? Alice. Oh no. Alice! Oh, fucking no. Squatting house. We can't squat. Where's Alice? Oh! Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. She's just a little girl, Ralph. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Little girl. She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Innocent. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Android? Yeah, we're, we're an android. Look, I'm an android too. You have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. They did to Ralph. Damn. Did 
Are you sure? Insist. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Stay? Fuck. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on! Come! Come, come on! This way! Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> we feel okay about this? <laughs> I don't know if I do. <laughs> Ralph's like a kind mass murderer. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Okay. It's just for Ralph. one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. She right. don't want to stay. Let's see where you can sleep. She don't want to stay here. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Can you blame her? The guy just had a knife on her. Poor girl. Oh. Make bed for Alice and start fire. Can we talk to her? Hey, Alice, you alright? Where the hell did this Ralph go? Take. And this poor Alice, though. Are you... She's scared. Whoa. Holy shit! There's the RA9 thing! I am alive. Ralph, can we talk to you? Oh, fuck. RA9. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. I... I don't know. He's <laughs> just writing the fucking RA9. He has no idea why. What the hell? No. Alright, we need to find stuff for Alice here. We got things and stuff over here. Take. There's paper. Hey, Alice, I found some paper. Let me go upstairs. I guess we actually can go upstairs. Or Alice, we're just leaving him down there with that guy. I don't know if that's the right idea. There ain't nothing in here. Wait, there's. Oh, never mind. There's nothing in here either. And then nothing in here. Let's head back downstairs then. There's nothing up here. Sorry, Alice. I'm trying, alright? Trying to find some things and stuff. Well, it looks like. Well, we can go back outside. Do we want to go? I don't think we should go back outside. Take. Oh. Found wood. Find matches. Let's start a fire first. Matches? Drop.
Yeah, but... Oh, there we go. There's matches? Strike a match. There you go, Alice. Get warm. We started a fire for her. Find a blanket. Oh, in the corner over here, maybe? It wasn't upstairs. Okay. This sucker don't even know why he's writing RA9 on the wall. Place bed near the fire. Okay. Set up bed. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. I mean, it's hey, it's something. And we're by a fire too. Talk to Alice. Let's talk to her. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Poor girl. Why can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Forever. Kiss. Let's kiss her goodnight. Sleep tight, Alice. Lie with Alice. Leave her space. Now let's lie with her. I feel like she'll really feel safe if we lay down next to her. Probably have a good night's rest, too. So we're just getting a lot of approval from Alice here. So the dra androids, drandroids, the drandroids actually sleep. Do they close their eyes? Because I feel like on the bus, Kara had her eyes closed. <laughs> Alice and Kara stayed in the squat. Oh, come on, man. 45% of people watched Alice from a chair. 3%. Oh, let's go to the beginning. There's a lot of outcomes in this mission. Whoa. Oh, we got we got 41%. Last stop, leave the bus. We talked to parked android. Talk to android trash collector. Oh, that was an android trash collector then. That was the trash collector. So he came over to us and then he jumped on the uh back on the the trash truck. Okay. And their supermarket. Damn, we could have did so much. We left the toy, talked to the clerk. Notice can stack. Notice cash register, but we didn't do anything else with this. If we would have robbed the store, then we could have stayed in the motel probably. That's probably what that was. I can imagine. Inside the parking lot, we took the wire cutters, cut the lot fence. Inside the squat, we met Ralphie. <laughs> Friends, I don't even know if there's a right word. But Ralph seems like a killer. <laughs> like, he's just not right, but he seems like a nice killer. 
that makes sense. That's kind of scary to be honest. Find another option. So this one cuts off 29%. People found another option. Leave parking lot, break in the car. Maybe more people actually slept in the car then. Because this is probably the car. More things. Damn. We met Ralph. Convinced him. Follow Ralph. Start a fire. Make a bed. Talk to Alice. I don't know what this would be. Fighting Ralph probably and dying. Make promise. Don't make promise. Kara sleeps next to Alice. And then... He stayed in the squat. Oh, shall we go on? I want to keep going. Like, if these are in order then, which they always have been order in order, then the next one we have to see Marcus. And I'm really concerned of what happened with Marcus. Inside my mind, I'm hoping that we didn't die there with Marcus. With our choices that we made. Because they just came in and shot us, for fuck's sakes. But that leaves a whole just blind spot on what could be happening with Marcus here. I'm worried, you know? And this oh, last episode, I was just so distraught with um, Carl himself. And I just didn't process what could actually be going on with Marcus right now. So let's go on. I'm hoping this the Marcus' story. Ask the bit. November 6, 2038. 3.34 a.m. What is that? Is that us? This Marcus? Reboot? Are we dead? Knows. Clue found. Oh, Marcus. Friend. You. Them cops literally did you in. Where, where are we at? What is this horror story? Impaired vision, corrupted mind power. They shot him in the fucking head. Friends, what the hell? Corrupt audio data damaged. Audio processor. What is going on? All systems in low power mode. Defective. We probably don't have time. Don't have much time. Then. Oh. Missing legs. Components unable to stand. They fucking tore his leg. What did they do? Place legs? I guess just shooting him once isn't enough to disable him. They had to just destroy him non-stop. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. That makes me sick to my stomach. Come on, Marcus. What is this, your leg? Right leg component functionable. Sit up. Got a, a right leg. This is horror. There's another leg. Damage incompatible. Though it looks like another right. <laughs> you don't want two rights. Saying something. Compatible, functioning. Let's take it then. Sit up. 
look at that one, it's alive. Where are we at? Are we just in a junkyard? What the fuck are we in? Left leg functioning. Marcus, you got legs. Don't know whose they are, but you got them. Escape junkyard. We are in a fucking junkyard. This is an android grave. Friends, they just, what, come here? Oh, man, that's eerie. Can we talk to you? Hey, friends. Oh, man, pressing that button's rough. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. What in the world are we got ourselves into? Coral. Life was good. Now it's... Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Is that hands? Fucking hands. <laughs> Is this horror? I'm fucking shaking in my boots. Where are you going? Where are you going? Just somewhere. <laughs> It's just crawling bodiless. Check. What we gotta look for. Incompatible. Low energy. It's not to. Oh, shit. It's so hard to. We can't. We don't have any senses. We need that middle piece. We probably need all types of other stuff though. I. Sinking in process. Functionable, compatible, incompatible. Hey Marcus. This is fucking crazy. Got anything over there? No. Hey, man. Oh. There's a droid here. Examine. Compatible. to hear. She wants to live, though. Take? I'm not gonna take. We'll go back this way. Damn, Marcus. The droid wanted to live. We're about to take her thing out. Friends, can we see anything? Because I'm, you know, I can't. Examine. Compatible. Oh, we need this eye. Give me that eye. You okay with us just taking your eye out? Hang in there, Marcus. The 
different color. Yeah, it's blue. You got one blue eye and one green eye, Marcus. Find a pump regulator. Find audio processor. As they dump the bodies all on us. I'm happy we can actually see now. This will make it life a lot easier. This poor lady, she wants to live. Take, we can't. No, we can't. We just can't do it. Check. There's a head back here. Audio processor compatible. Let me get that off you. Cute. Put it in, Marcus. Friends. This is fucking wild. Find pump regulator. This is the craziest shit ever. There's legs just moving. singing oh my heart I can't take it wait unexpected errors unexpected errors all over the place man we gotta kill that lady I don't want to though to die. Can we take your thing? Oh hell, friends. Marcus! I'm sorry that you're going through this, man. Has to be, there's a body over here. This is like horror. <laughs> Mixed with all types of emotions here. Examine. It's blue. It's good, right? Compatible. Let's do it. Take it. Well, if you take yours out, you're going to die right away? Condition stabilized. Marcus, you're gonna live. Get up. Climb the slope. Runs. We gonna climb out of this madness. Get this one. This one. Get out. Oh my word. Corridor exited. Let's go. I feel like we surveyed the area enough. Come on, we got this. Okay, okay, I gotta hold it in. I got it. We got it, Marcus. Come on. Hold it in. Now press that. I got it. Come on, Marcus. in there.
You didn't deserve none of it, Marcus. Check. Take. Ice pick, maybe? Rip off? Wait, we're gonna rip this off? Can you? Marcus just ripped it off! It won't even know he's an android now! You are Marcus. That was fucking badass. <laughs> My name is Marcus. From the dead, 94% complete. We didn't get everything. We missed something. Oh, it was the option to not kill and kill that guy, probably. Damn, that was crazy, friends. What the hell? My name is Marcus. Oh. What in the world just happened? Okay. Let's look at world stats then. Oh, this is... Okay, everyone has to do this 100% basically. Back to life. So they killed us. They basically almost killed us then. Because look, if they killed us, we wouldn't have been able to reboot. Yeah? I mean, we're not immortal. Friends, they did not just... Okay. You have to shoot to disable. You know, maybe a leg or something. But the fact is that they automatically shot us immediately when we were no threat. You know? We were sitting there crying. And they shot us. They didn't just shoot us, they shot him right in the fucking face. And not only did they shoot him in the face, what happened? What, did Leo just chop us up with an axe? Or did they just take us and put us in a dumpster? Like, and then when they put us in a dumpster, we got picked up into a trash truck, and the trash truck just... The pressure of all of it ended up taking off our legs or something? I don't know, that's just me guessing. We analyzed ourselves. we repaired our legs, we heard about Jericho, interesting. There's a place for us to stay, someplace safe, called Jericho. Passage of Limbs, Junkyard. Found the pump regulator, 70% of people found pump regulator in an android. Android begs to die. Refused to kill for pump. Oh man, only 28% of us actually refused to kill for pump. I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring it to my... She didn't want to die. He wanted to die, though, so we killed him. 41% killed him. So, that's wild. Refused to kill for pump, huh? Maybe that matters. Maybe her pump was better than the one we got. Oh, no. Found optical unit. 99%. Crane dumps bodies. Dig yourself out. So only 24% had this. The crane dumped the bodies on us? Why is that a thing, though? Interesting. Find audio processor. Find pump regulator. So 99% found the audio. If everybody was like, I can't take the sound. I need to, we need to find it. <laughs> it was eerie sounding, man. Climb the slope. And Marcus came back from the dead. Whoa, man. That's just, uh... Crazy. Let's continue. And then... We'll pause. It looks like, um, it looks like Connor, which is where we're going to go. We'll go back to the main menu. I have a feeling that when we come back in, it'll push us right into that scene. Let me just make sure. I, I got to make sure. Yeah, it's putting us right into uh, Connor's scene, which is good. Now we got, I, I feel like that's how we do it, okay? Because we've been breaking up stuff, as in 
pushing an episode as in like the beginning of this stuff the next transition to scene or whatever the next person that we go to and we just see the very beginning and then we stop so i think it's good to stop in that title screen and then go back to the main menu in a sense so oh friends i like the process here it really is so marcus just he's back to life we got kara and alice into a squat house and we got some crazy droid. I'm just going to go and say it. I think that droid's not stable. I hope he is. But I don't think I don't think he is. And his name is Ralph. RA9. I don't know why I'm writing this. He doesn't know why he's writing RA9. Something's telling him to write it. So RA9 has to be the be-all, end-all of these droids. Has to be the leader. Maybe the very first. Oh, this is a lot to think about. If you find the game too easy or too difficult, remember you can change the difficulty settings in the options section. But listen, I don't understand that though, because look, we have it the on, options section. We have it on experience and the game is really easy as it is. Your what, parameters have been saved. What would make the game harder? So if we turn it off experience and goes to casual, then basically I'm thinking the time limit stuff maybe not be there. There's no time limit. You can just take all the time you need for choices. Or the action scenes are just easier for you to do. You don't really fail them. I don't know. A lot of stuff to think about, friends. I'm really distraught after that mission with Marcus. It's just hurt my heart seeing him like that. I can't believe Marcus went through that. He was had, he had this beautiful life with Carl. Beautiful life. And then at the blink of an eye, it just turned. My name is Marcus, and the way it, the way he walked off and grabbed that coat, it's almost like he wants to wreak justice, basically. And can you fucking blame him? He got destroyed, almost, to the brink of destruction. They dumped him in a fucking graveyard, a tomb. And he pulled himself out. And started I hope you're to okay today. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. I know. I know you are, and I need you here for me now, because I'm really distraught. I'm so distraught that I don't even want to end the episode. <laughs> I want to just keep talking through my emotions here. That being said, we'll jump back into Connor's story when we head back, and then still going to process all this stuff with Marcus and the things with Kara and Alice. Anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.